Yasmin Vesugian is live in Memphis, and she's at a bridge that connects Tennessee with Arkansas. It's a bridge that's been closed for a week. Yeah. So, Yasmin, what's what's going on with that bridge? Uh, how has the closure there impacted folks who, who live there? I mean, Craig, you, you played the 911 call as you were going to break a little bit earlier. I mean, think about the urgency of this thing. Literally, at one moment, you had 45,000 cars a day crossing that bridge behind me. And then you had a 911 call put in saying, get everybody off this bridge because you have this major crack. There was an inspection in the bridge back in 2019. Um, they believe they didn't see any kind of crack back then. There have been some video resurfacing now um, of some images possibly showing the crack beginning to open up back then in 2019. But they didn't really discover this just till the last week. And then they subsequently shut this thing down. You think about thoroughfare of this bridge where it's actually feeding between west memphis arkansas and memphis tennessee i was actually talking to a guy that owns a freight company here and he talks about the trucks that are going back and forth i mean of those forty-five thousand cars that are going back and forth over this bridge one in four of those are trucks because the trucks are now having to redirect themselves to a bridge a couple of miles away they're in standstill traffic over there so they're having to upcharge to surcharge the freight that is going over that bridge and subsequently where does that where does that fall on that falls on the customer the products the people that need to buy things so these companies are suffering the folks in the community are suffering because the prices are going up and they're having to redirect the commute traffic and folks aren't able to give the businesses to some of these communities that they normally would i, I want to play some sound of the mayor of west memphis arkansas that we spoke to just yesterday craig well, my biggest thing, Phil, we got to get it back up and running. And I'm hoping that the House make a decision to support a bipartisan bill to support infrastructure. This is the evidence that need to be seen is that we need to show up uh, America's uh, infrastructure. So here's the national conversation, Craig, happening on a local level, all about infrastructure, right? Waiting on this Biden infrastructure plan to go through. You got $115 billion allocated to uh, bridges, to roadways, uh, and to highways, you have Republican Senator Haggerty essentially saying, we don't want that major infrastructure bill. We need just money for roads and bridges, while Democrats are saying, include this bridge in that infrastructure bill, bridges like this one, because our communities, Craig, are going to suffer. Yeah, it's been Vesugian there in Memphis. Uh, you're right. A, uh, a national conversation being had there in Memphis, uh, for sure. Thank you, Yasmin. And, and Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.